Hi kids, this is Kids Time. How are you doing? We're going to start with prayer and ask God to be with us and help us learn from this lesson what he wants us to learn. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that we can come to you. Thank you that even though we have to keep our distance, we know you love us and there's many people that love all these children and we miss them. So please be with them and be with us today. Amen. Okay, we're going to start with, uh, my God is so big. Right now we need a big God to help us. So let's sing that song and believe it because he is. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Okay, the other one we're going to sing is, This is the Light of Mine. Remember, this is the one Sage asked for last week. Well, it's a good one, so let's sing it. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. sisters, things like that, because that's hard when we're stuck together. Okay, so last week we learned what was Haman going to do? He was mad at Mordecai the Jew, so he decided he was going to kill Mordecai, but not just Mordecai, all Mordecai's people, the Jews. Now, who else is a Jew? Can you think of anybody else in this story who's a Jew? That's right. Queen Esther is a Jew. But Haman doesn't know it. And the king doesn't know it. And what Haman has also forgot is that the Jews are God's people. God chose them to tell the good news about the one and only true God and to bring Jesus Christ into the world to save us. They had a job to do. So do you think God's going to let them all be killed? Huh, let's see what happens. So Haman, with the king's signature ring, sent out posters to all the 127 provinces that they could go ahead and kill the Jews on the 13th day of the month of Adar. And the Jews couldn't even fight back. The police wouldn't even arrest them for murder because the king had said it was okay. Of course, remember, Haman had tricked the king. He didn't realize this is what was going to happen. Well, when this poster was put up in the city of Susa, Mordecai was really upset. And he took off his good clothes and he put on sackcloth and poured ashes from the fireplace on his head. Now, sackcloth is like this stuff, and it's very, very rough. This is what we put potatoes in when we bring them out of the ground, harvest them, and it, ah, it's very rough. So I don't think I want to wear it as a, as a dress, but well, that's what Mordecai did. And this showed all the people that he was very upset, that something was very wrong. But there was a rule, he couldn't come in the gates of the palace 
So he's outside the palace in this sackcloth and ashes on his head. He must have looked a mess. And the queen's maids and workers saw him and knew he was Esther's cousin. And they said, Esther, Mordecai is outside the gates in sackcloth and ashes. And Mordecai, uh, Queen Esther said, oh my gosh, here, take him some clean clothes. He shouldn't be dressed like that. See, Esther didn't get one of those posters. So they went out with the clean clothes and, Esther, and Mordecai said, no, I will not change. And so they came back and told Esther and she said, oh dear. And she sent one of her men out to talk to Mordecai, find out what's going on, what's the problem? Well, Mordecai told him, and he went back and he told Esther. And he, sh he showed Esther the poster. And when Esther read it, she said, oh my gosh, he's gonna kill all the Jews, all my people. And Mordecai had sent a message and said, Esther, you have to go before the king. You have to go and beg for our lives. And Esther said, oh my gosh, you know the law? The law is that no one can go to the king unless he calls for them to come. And if they do come before the king without being called, they're dead right then and there. Unless he holds out his golden scepter to them. Wow, that doesn't happen too many times, I'll tell you. So Esther sent this message back to Mordecai. I, I really can't do this. That's My life is at risk if I do this. And Mordecai sent back a message and said, look, don't you think that God knows what he's doing? Do you think maybe God's put you here at this time to help his people? And if you don't help him, he'll find another way. And But you won't be happy about it. Things won't go well for you and your family. And so Queen Esther sent back a message said, okay, I'll do it. But first, you must, all the Jews in the city of Susha, tell them to fast and pray. Don't drink anything or eat anything for three days. And I will fast as well for three days, and my maids will as well. My people will fast. And so they did. They all fasted. Probably got pretty hungry. But they fasted for three days and prayed. And prayed to God. Esther wanted to know what God really wanted her to do. And so on the third day, she got dressed up all fancy and pretty, and she went to the king. And she stood just at the door and waited and waited until the king looked up and saw her. Oh my gosh, what do you think is going to happen? Is Esther going to be killed? Or will he hold out the golden scepter to her? Remember, God is in charge. So you tell me what you think is going to happen. Of course, you can read the Bible too. The book of Esther is the 15th book in the Old Testament. You could read and then you'll know. So next week I will finish the story. Now, we're going to finish, we're going to sing the song Joy. And then I have a surprise for you. So, Jesus and others and you, what a wonderful way to spell joy. Jesus and others and you, in the heart of each girl and each boy. Joy is for Jesus, for he has first place. Always for others we meet face to face. Ah, why is for you? So whatever you do, put Jesus first and spell joy. Now, do you remember in Awana that 
all the teachers are watching and if they write down who they think has been listening and singing with us and taking part and then the next week that person gets to pick out of our box you know all these things we got in here we oh there's even a book whoa the largest salamanders can grow as long as bicycles wow didn't know that and all kinds of stuff oh yeah cool it's a noise maker i don't know if your mom wants you to have one of those but if you phone me the first one who phones and who answers this question what is the queen's name and what did she ask the people to do for three days i'll tell you now fast and pray don't tell them i told you that my number you can follow me at home seven eight zero six six three three four three one and it's nice talking to you even if you don't phone first we can have a good talk so let's pray dear lord and heavenly father help us all and help us to live for you and let the light of jesus christ shine through us in our homes in our town and be with us and thank you for this time that we can be all together in Jesus' name, amen.